what's going on YouTube and you get your double daily dose of this upload and it is Mr. Best Kept Secret coming at you with another episode of my Minecraft Let's Play and I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying it because I certainly am enjoying it and I think this episode we're going to increase the farm a little bit we're going to get some glass so we can make our house nice and pretty on the outside and other than that i think we're just going to be making might be making a top layer for our palace and yeah that's why i think it's a good goal for this episode might explore the ravine a little bit more but other than that i think that we're pretty good there's some iron down there that i forgot to collect next episode or last episode i'm gonna jump over height and there we go and what i also think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna collect some more food loots. I'm going to get some more chicken, some more pork, and I might be getting some cows. So I think I might be actually starting an animal farm in a little bit, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, go over here and grab some of this sand. And uh, yeah, so I'm probably going to be uploading this and my Pokey MMO episode at, on the same day, but I do have to go to work later, so if it doesn't upload on the same day, I do apologize for that. So I'm going to be grabbing some glass here. And I'm going to be making the glass out of glass panes, not glass blocks. So it does give us that little half block extra so it makes it nice and pretty. Also, what I thought would also be cool is if I took some spruce wood and I put it on the bottom floor of the house so that I made it look like a checkerboard. That sounds pretty neat, doesn't it? Alright, so I'm going to be doing that. I don't know why I'm using a shovel right now, but why not, right? So I'm going to be doing that. And just going to be gathering some spruce wood here so that our house does look a little bit more pleasing. Or, uh, sorry. Yeah, looks a little bit more pleasing when we're on the inside. And also, I uh, I was doing a little bit off cam and a skeleton uh, almost killed me. So, as I'm going to be putting windows on the house. So I grabbed some spruce wood. Oh, I should probably watch out for my health a little bit, eh? So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be grabbing some more seeds probably. Hopefully, at least. we got 29 seeds. Yeah, so, oh man. Oh, I almost made that mistake. Oh, that was close. Alright, so, good new, uh, oh, I'm going to kill this chicken first off. Oh, what, what? Okay, stand still. Stand still. I want, yo, food! I want your food. There we go. Got some, uh, got some chicken for later. There's a bunch of chicken over here, I think. No, I guess not. There is a pig, and I'm going to be getting that pig with a wooden sword. Give me that pig! Give me a pig! There we go. Got some pork. Oh, there's a chicken. I'm going to be getting you. Oh, man, I lost my sprint. Give me that chicken! Guess we got two chicken. Oh, we, I forgot we had cooked pork chop. Ooh! Ooh! There we go. Alright, so, I might build a little animal farm right over here because it is close to the water and stuff like that. Makes it a little bit more pleasing when we're looking at it from our house. Oh, hopefully, okay, good, we didn't miss the drop. Alright, good, there we go. So, grab some spruce wood, gonna be improving the house. Actually, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna till some more land. Oh, wow, I'm just, uh, <laughs> just a bunch of, uh, I just don't know what to do right now. So, gonna till some land. There. Some more there. Then I'm going to put some all around. There. And I think I do have some bones. So I'm going to make some bone meal. Just so that I can make some bread. Maybe in this episode. Maybe in the next episode. I don't know. So. Also what I wanted to talk about was the Monday Night Football game last night. Minnesota versus Washington. And... Not necessarily just about that game, but about the collective mindset of some fans of football. Some fans of football, and I'm throwing up the air quotations for the word fans, thinking that Minnesota should be losing on purpose, I know, right? On purpose, so that they can end up getting a better draft position. And I completely disagree with that. I don't... I don't... Oh, I, I'm honestly, I'm quite disgusted that you're going to be paying these professional athletes millions of dollars, and I'm saying millions of dollars, and... They're not going to end up winning games for you? Then why would you pay them? You can get Joe Blows to go out and do that for free. So, with that being said, there 
are some people speculating that, yeah, they're just going to go out and lose games. And that was not evident last night, where Minnesota actually won the game against a very talented Washington Redskins team with Robert Griffin III, who is coming back as the RG3 that we saw last time. And, wow, how does that even happen? Uh, that's that's weird. But, yeah, so just saw that. And uh, with RG3, he was coming back to being the quarterback that we knew of last year. So... With all of that being said, sorry, that's just really weird. So, with all that being said, they still went out and won the game, and now they're two and seven. So, and before, or, yeah, they're two and seven, and before that, they were the only team in the NFL with one victory. So, with that being said, some people are saying, "Oh, yeah, it's okay, Minnesota, go and lose the game, go and do that kind of stuff." I completely disagree. You get paid to win games. That's what you get paid to do as an NFL player. And with that being said. You can't go out and tell guys to go and lose games. That's just... I don't even know what to call that. Because that is just it's preposterous. And I know I'm not exactly the greatest when it comes to grammar and such things. But I think that's awful. Because when you take players and tell them, okay, well, you know, they're not saying to go and lose games, but... There's, they are saying to go and lose games because they want a better draft position. They want better this. They want better that. And it's uh, it's awful. Like, I don't know what player would purposely go out and try to lose games. And if they are, they shouldn't be playing the sport. Because sport not, sports aren't all about winning, but they are at the same time when you're at that level. But what kind of example does that give to kids? Honestly, like, what kind of example are you going to give to a kid who's like, okay, well, I see my favorite athlete... He's going to start losing games, and and I see my favorite athlete not trying as hard. What's that going to make me do as a kid? As a kid, you see your favorite player doing something, and then you want to repl- replicate it, right? So, if you see a player who isn't trying, isn't doing his best, and isn't performing to the standard that is set by other players, what would like that? Just isn't a very good. That just isn't good, honestly. I can't. I don't really know how else to say it. Because it isn't. So, what are your, what's your guys' opinion on players losing to get better draft position? Because I honestly think that it's stupid. And that if teams are purposely trying to lose games to get a better draft position, that they should be fined or something should have, there should be a repercussion for their action. But, as we finish the floor there, I think that looks a little bit better than that, right? So yeah, let me know if you guys like the floor. Let me go know in the comment section down below. As I'm continuing on my little rant here, I'm just going to cook some food here. And, uh, yeah, so just let me know um, what you guys think of losing on purpose in the comment section down below. I think that's how you make glass panes. There we go. So I'm going to fill this up with glass panes. There we go. We're just a lot more safe at night from all the evils that are outside this door. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about purposely losing and what you think and what you think the situation is in the comment section down below and yeah so this is going to be a little bit shorter video because I improved the house I extended the uh, wheat farm and I'm just letting the animals repopulate and I am going to be seeing you guys in the next episode so see you YouTube and don't forget clickety clack that like button if you did like the video subscribe if you're new and I I will appreciate all the likes and all the comments and all that kind of stuff in the comment section down below. All right, so see you guys next time, YouTube. Peace.